Sunday morning, we back at it. We're back at it. We're back at it. So, this only thing about when you get a run that's over a thousand miles on the weekend, you got to make sure you shut down before, uh, or you can't shut down after until after you got less than 600 miles. If you want to get there to, you know, after you do your 34, you know, 600 miles or less is what you want to probably be at. Okay, coolant's good. Because if you stop short of that, you're not going to make it. So I was able to get to Hebron, Indiana. Shut down. Got my work clothes on. Show you what I'm talking about. So in theory, I should get there. Got 651 miles. I'm, I'm like literally starting as soon as I got my time back. I should get there tonight. Uh, barring any uh, circumstances with traffics or breakdown. All right. But we'll see. But that's how you want to do it, though. Whenever you have a thousand mile run, thousand miles plus, you always want to try your best to drive your clock uh, Friday, maybe even into Saturday, and then shut down. It just depends on when you have to deliver and how many miles you have and what time your uh, your delivery closes. Check your stuff out, make sure ain't no funny business throughout the night, throughout the weekend. Airbags gotta fill up. Check your dunnage. I gotta remember to buy a damn lawn chair. Or a beach chair. Because I had the perfect load. The perfect load I could have sat on and just hung out for a little bit before it got too hot, too cold. It's like 55 right now. This is like perfect weather. You know, got a fat body like myself. I don't like getting too hot. Get too hot to get cranky. Pilot has a new sandwich. Sausage, egg, and cheese donut. So we're gonna see how this tastes later on. Got some breakfast. I've been debating and thinking about one, if I should have just went ahead and went home this week because the revenue didn't change any. Uh, probably made about the same, maybe a little bit less. I would have been home this weekend. So, for those that follow me, I always kind of go back and forth about staying out and and uh, whatnot. It's probably gonna be the last time I stay out. Uh, I just you know go back and forth. Sometimes it just it ain't worth it. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes it lines up for you, and sometimes it doesn't. 
uh, but I'm probably not going to stay out. I don't know. Probably not until uh, there's a rumor that we're going to have a run in January where you stay out for 30 days and you get an additional percentage. So I'll probably just do that the next time that, that comes up. But for now, to the end of the year, I'm probably going to just come home every week and just, you know, if I happen to get stuck out, then I get stuck out. But um, I don't know. That, but that's trucking, man. You can't get too, you can't get too high, and you damn sure can't get too low, you know. Because if not, it'll it'll drive you crazy. But I don't know, man. We'll see, though. All right, so I'll probably change my opinion, change my mind in in three weeks, two weeks. <laughs> so we'll see. But uh, yeah, man, we're heading to North Carolina, and I'm willing to bet. I'll bet my left, <laughs> my left, my my left nut that I'm going to get a load either out of Louisiana Pacific. Or right next door. There's two places that we load out of, and I'm pretty sure I should get a load either, out of either place. I, sh I should, in theory. Like I said, my fleet manager usually lines my loads up to you know to where you know they kind of just kind of make sense. You know, sometimes you don't see it. It's like towards the end of the week, but that's what he tries to do. So, but we'll see though. So, uh, gonna get on down this road, one mile at a time, one load at a time. So next time you see me, truck buddies, I should be in North Carolina. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Airborne Trucker signing off. And that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Had 30 minutes to spare. Distance today is 635 miles. Now, if you remember, I think it was like 650. So between Google and the Trumbull, you know, I found a 13-mile shortcut. So I got here a little early and it saved me some miles. Well, that's how you do it. So that's how you do it. So like I said, it should. If I don't pick up from out of here, there's a place next door. All right, so we'll see. So right now I'm gonna snatch this tarp and straps off. It's not gonna matter because that stuff right there, that's what I have. So if it gets wet, it'll be all right. They do it more for the packaging and there's nothing wrong with that packaging. So I'm about to get to it. So we're good to go. Uh, they start eight o'clock in the morning. So I got my tarps put away, straps put away. I put my tarps on top of the box. I'm a, if I was a betting man, I like to gamble. I should begin loaded out of here tomorrow, but who knows? But uh, these are 16 footers, 16 footers. It's a nice, easy load. Can't complain about that. So I got all my stuff put away. I wake up, see if I see somebody poking around. I think I got to go down that way. Um, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm not even going to assume. I would think that they would wake me up if I'm not up. But every place is different. So all that's done. Just me and the birds. All right, truck buddies. We'll see you in the morning.